mean absolute deviation is the sum of the distances of each element from the mean divided by the quantity, how many items are there. In order to find a mean absolute deviation, first you're going to need to find the mean, which means add all these numbers up and divide by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, if you don't know how to find a mean, you want to scroll back to a video called Measures of Central Tendency. I'm adding all these numbers together. Get a thousand one. Then I'll divide by nine. 111.2 is my mean. For this topic, mean absolute deviation, I will let you round to the nearest whole number. So we're going to call this 111 and remove all the decimal spaces. Only because the next move that you have to make involves a bunch of subtractions. And I would prefer that you're doing them in your head than, than using a calculator. But if you need to use a calculator, you may. We want to find the distances of each of these numbers from the mean. So distance from 108 to 111 is 3. The distance from 115 is 4. Distance from 106 is 5. Distance from 103 is 8. 119 minus 111, also 8, the other direction. Distance there is 3. Distance there is 10, right? Because 111 plus 10 is 121. Distance is 3. And the distance also is 10 here. Notice all my numbers are positive. If you are using a calculator, to subtract, to find your distances. If you do 108 minus 111, you'll get negative 3 from the calculator. You're still going to write positive 3. That's what this word absolute means. Always take a positive answer when we're finding distances. What I'm going to do with these numbers now, these distances, is find the mean of them. So I'm going to add them up. 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 8 plus 8, plus 3, plus 10, plus 3, plus 10. And I'm going to divide that by 9, 7, 12, 20, 28, 31, 41, 44, 54. 54 over 9 is 6. That is the mean absolute deviation. What it, what it tells us, this is actually another measure of dispersion. It tells us that the numbers tend to be, on average, they're within six spaces of 111. The average number is six away from the mean. That's, that's the information it's given us. Okay? Mean absolute deviation. This helps us to tell, for example, if a number is too far outside of the pack to be reasonable. If I had something that was like 160 in this mix, that is 1, 2, 3, 4. That's like 9, nine average deviations away from the mean. That's far outside of normal. All right, most numbers should fall within a few deviations from the mean. Two or three at most. Otherwise, we call them outliers.